for this problem, it says, what is the pH of a 0 0.02 solution of sodium bicarbonate? And it gives you the hint that bicarbonate has a Ka value and a Kb value. Find out which K is larger and use it in an ice table problem to solve for pH. Um, so uh, let me go uh, on the separate page here. I have the Ka, Kb lists from the equation sheets. And it looks like uh, for carbonic acid, so carbonic acid H2CO3, you've got Ka1, which is for carbonic acid. That's going to be 4.3 times 10 to the minus 7. You've got Ka2, and Ka2 is going to be the Ka for bicarbonate ion or hydrogen carbonate ion. That's 5.6 times 10 to the minus 11. So that's the Ka value for bicarbonate. Now we know that it's an acid because it's got an H in the front, and we know that it uh, very likely is some sort of base because it has a minus on it, and negatively charged uh, ions tend to be bases. If we think about what the conjugate acid is of bicarbonate, it will be H2CO3 carbonic acid. So if we want to find the Kb for bicarbonate, it's going to be Kw over Ka for carbonic acid, because that's how Ka and Kb values are related for conjugate pairs which means that since Kw is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14, and then we divide it by the Ka1, which is the Ka for carbonic acid, 4.3 times 10 to the minus seven, oop, that didn't work, one exponent 14 minus, divided by 4.3 exponent seven minus, I get 2.3 times 10 to the minus eight, And our Kb value is much higher than our Ka value. We're going to set up a nice table around that Kb value with the idea that underlying all of this equilibrium constant stuff that we've been doing is that the first reaction you deal with is always the reaction that has the highest K value, the highest equilibrium constant, because that's going to produce the most product. So from here, uh, Kb value is going to be or bicarbonate plus water. It's a Kb reaction, so the product is going to be hydroxide and carbonic acid. And from there, we get a nice table that is very familiar, because uh, I think the hard part of this now potentially at least, is which ice table is set up. So we put in our uh, initial concentration, then we know how to do the rest, being careful to remember that since this is hydroxide ion that we are producing, we're going to have to go through the step of doing pOH and then pH from this.